Hello everybody, oh, welcome back once again to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Last time we left off, we managed to defeat Bendak Starkiller in a death match in the arena, cashed in on his uh, bounty, then we came for a bit of a chill out here to the Upper City Cantina for a game of Pazak with Niklos. We lost two matches in a row and uh, if I could I would lop his head off in anger but no I won't do that <laughs> I won't do that I'll let him live for another day because I want to come and take my money back somehow I think I'm gonna buy a few more uh, side deck cards before I return anyway the goal for today's set of updates as we uh, march on I will explain as I go is to uh, finally start looking for Bastila properly because so far we've come back here and we've uh, been sort of engaged in quite a few side quests here and there. Been a bit distracted. Valdron's been looking for ways to make a bit, a bit of cash. Uh, he's not done too bad. Uh, I don't think we have anything of interest in the old... Ah. There's my Pazak side deck. I didn't realize that it was separate from the main deck. Sorry about this. I'm quite intrigued as to what's going on. There you go. There's a Pazak deck and there's a side deck. Maybe it's because I started playing for the first time that they put my side deck separate. Anyway, what was I saying before I <laughs> got a little bit confused? Uh, what's that? Apartments? No, we're going here, I believe. Upper City North. Okay. Yes, um... <clears throat> we've been uh, sidetracked with side quests and trying to grab a quick uh, credit or two here and there and, you know, arena fights and bounty hunting and things of that nature. So now we're going to <laughs> try and accomplish what we set out to do from the very start, which was to help poor Bastila. God bless her. She's got herself captured by some uh, hidden... Oh, the hidden pecs. The uh, Vul Black Vulcars. That's, I think, that's the one. Silly woman that she is. Uh, we do have one side quest still left to keep our eye open for. And that is the one regarding the Rakul Serum. Uh, of course, delivering the serum to Zax will, reveal, will uh, lead to bigger profits. Giving it to Zelka in the upper city may be the more honourable thing to do. But anyway, I think to obtain the serum we have to loot Sith Guards. Maybe even kill Sith Guards. But we'll... Uh, Play it by ear, so to speak, and see what happens. In fact, before we do any of that, we actually, actually we have to actually uh, find the Undercity, because we haven't yet been there, so... Uh, one step at a time. This time, not bothering me, recognizes my face. Alright, uh, according to this map here, I think there's two ways that we haven't been. We've been in the apartments, we've been in the hidden peg base, we've been in these apartments, we've been in the cantina. We haven't been down this side of the map, but we haven't been up there, so considering this is closer, we're going to start by turning right. And there's a few uh, Vulcar enforcers here now. <laughs> I don't think they're going to have a prayer, to be honest with you. We're far, far more advanced than when we first started. And I'm going to leave Karth to uh, shoot him dead whilst I uh, put my feet up and sun myself over here. Ah, look at this pretty scenery. Okay, and now you get cheeky and try and attack me. Well, that's just fine and dandy. You sealed your fate, buddy. There we go. Now, was that caused by him or was that caused by my previous playthrough? I don't know, but it's. Uh, <laughs> doesn't fill me with happiness, I tell you that. Loots. And nothing there. Alright. Oh, and there's another guard here. Kathy, you take care of this one. Uh huh. 
Yeah. Improved power blast. I think that's a good idea. And I shall take care of this one with a power attack. Let's go! Surprise! Yep! Uh oh! Uh oh, I'm in a spot of trouble. <laughs> okay, let's fight! Oh my god! Oh, he's kicked me! I am struggling here! If I die to some menial flaming guard, I shall be mortified! Run! Oh, I'm injured! Oh, I've fallen! Holy cow! Baldrum Bane falls in battle! What the embarrassment! Okay, where's he running to? Oof! Come on, Kathy! Do me proud! Veldron's up again. What? Barely. <laughs> oh my goodness me. The calf is loving this. Bragging rights. What's that, Veldron? Did you, uh. Did you fall asleep on the job there? He says, that's mocking me. Okay. And see this calf uh, save my. Uh, Behind there, I'm gonna give him a med pack as well. Give him a little treat, because I, mean, I don't give him much. Sure. Right. This is the Volca base entrance. Now, considering this is their main entrance, I don't think <laughs> somehow that waltzing through the main doors is a good idea. In fact, is it locked? Yeah. So we've come the wrong way. Forty-four hit points. Fifty-five. Okay. Pass head back base. And down towards here, where there's more. Volcar guards, which now all of a sudden doesn't fill me with confidence. <laughs> My confidence is somewhat shattered a little bit after that last performance. Okay, these just like just regular Volcars. We might still have a chance. Come on. When you fall off the bike, the best way to get over it is to get back up again. Oh my God! There's quite a few of these. <laughs> I may need some assistance. Okay, forget him. Attack this guy. Oh my god, this is all going quite wrong now. Attack this guy. How'd you like that? Oh. Oof! Kathy? Who are you attacking? Attacking him? I suggest you do so. Sure. Oh my god, come on, kill him! Uh, enough games with these people! They embarrass us! Is he still fighting? Ooh, there we go. It's more like it. Adrenal strength and credits. All right. Blast the turret. Sith soldier. D-D-D-D-D, what's one of them? Blaster turret again? Blaster turret? Can I do anything with these? Uh, talk to them? Hello, blaster turret! Can you hear me? No? You're a machine, that's why. Okay. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Uh... <laughs> I don't think so, buddy. I've got some official papers right here. 
but I want to ask you some questions first. I'm not here to answer your questions. My orders are to guard the elevator. Now either show me the proper security papers or move along. Fine! You damn bugbear. Take the papers there. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rackles, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Oh, you're all pally pally now. I see you've seen my papers, eh? Change your tune, have you? Get down, crony. Come on, Cass. To the Undercity. You there, Upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Oh, don't worry, Five Kelsey. credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. I don't Five like credits. your tone! How dare you speak to me like that? Do I look like a pleb to you? Get out of here, you damn beggar. I'll use my blaster to end your suffering. Run, my brother! Flee this one's wrath! Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. All right. Well, yes. I will forgive those two peasants for their besmirchment. My name is Valdrin. And who exactly are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Ah! Nothing special, to be perfectly frank with you. Not to you, I suppose, but you're probably used to its beauty by now. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. 